This morning, and as the new school year gets underway, a Metro Children's Advocacy Center is adding to the lesson plan. Its program teaches both students and parents about preventing child abuse. New Science Jordan Ryan joins us live in studio to explain what the ROAR program stands for and why your child needs to know about it. Jordan? Hey, good morning, you guys. The ROAR program is twofold. It's a curriculum to help educate adults that interact with kids and the child-based program is meant for kids ages four to eight so they can learn how to speak up and protect themselves. There's some big principles that Roar teaches and as soon as your child really can communicate with you and start to understand you, you need to be introducing those concepts. Roar stands for, remember, privates are private, okay to say no, Always talk about secrets. Raise your voice and tell someone. Stacy McNeilan knows firsthand how valuable this program is. The mission of the care center is personal because I am a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. She says abuse impacts more children than we may realize. One in seven children are abused in our county, one in seven. It's a really high statistic and something that should should really strike fear in the majority of our households because this is something that is preventable. It's not a fun conversation for anyone, but they break it down for kids and make it understandable because they know the value. You decide what is and what is not okay. Even though this is a difficult subject matter, more, more families should be concerned about child abuse than really any other childhood ailment. ROAR program runs through about 70% of schools in Oklahoma County. More than 75,000 kids have been trained. Parents are in control. If they want that kind of programming in their schools, it starts with a simple conversation. Anyone can call us at any time. Well, the Care Center also offers the ROAR program virtually, and they have a hybrid platform. Live this morning, Jordan Ryan, Oklahoma Zone News 9.